Eating well is such an integral part of yours and your partner's fertility, as well as keeping you and your baby as healthy as possible throughout the entire pregnancy. With the autumn months now upon us, this time of year is the gift that keeps on giving when it comes to fresh seasonal produce that can really help boost fertility and wellness. In this series, I've enlisted the help of my good friend and dietitian, Claire Gray, to come up with some tasty, warming and nutrient-rich recipes which are perfect if you're trying for a baby or are already pregnant. It just tastes of autumn, it's absolutely delicious. And today we're going to show you how to make a wholesome rye and oat soda bread, a yummy accompaniment to a soup or just eaten on its own with some butter. This is a really quick recipe for a rye and oats soda bread that you can make at home. It's minimal fuss and the best bit is that you get to avoid all the additives and preservatives that go into normal bread that you buy in a shop. So Claire, talk us through how to make it. Okay, so this is a really simple bread. We've got some rye flour here. We've also got some whole wheat flour here. And the final key ingredient is our rolled oats. Next, you're going to add in your bicarbonate of soda, which is our raising agent to make our bread rise. And then finally, we're going to add some salt. So before I add my final ingredient, which is the buttermilk, which will help bind everything together, I just want to mix all the dry ingredients together to make sure it's always really well distributed throughout, particularly your bicarbonate soda. So finally, the buttermilk. So this is mildly acidic. This reacts with the bicarbonate of soda, which is alkaline, and that's what actually makes your bread rise. Wow, okay. So mixing everything together with my hand, I've made a claw shape with my hand and you can see the bread's just starting to come together now, the dough's starting to form a ball and you literally just keep going until all the bread comes together. If, if you're finding that the bread dough's still a little bit dry, you can add a little bit more buttermilk, just a tablespoon or so. Or water? Could you add a bit you of that? You could add water, but the buttermilk is actually, the flavour's just a little mm. bit nicer as well. It's very therapeutic to do this, isn't it? There is, it's nice. And this is actually a nice recipe to do with children as well because it's mm. so quick and easy. What you do find is all flours are slightly different. So you might make the same recipe and each time you make it, notice that you need to add different amounts of water or yeah. whatever liquid you're adding. Yeah. You can see this is, you don't need this bread, but you can see it's coming together now to yeah. form a ball. We're going to tip this out onto the surface and shape it and then put it in the oven. Bake the bread in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and after 45 or 50 minutes, take the bread out and turn over and then cook for a further 5 to 10 minutes. Allow to cool slightly and serve with butter. That is so good. Toasty, warm, all you need is a pair of cozy slippers and this on a cold night and that'll do me.